Welcome to my channel. If you're not already aware, I've kind of been really open and transparent about my experiences with mental health. I made a whole video about going on to antidepressants and why I did that and you know, my history with anxiety, panic attacks and depression and all of those things. My last video was the beginning of my journey to get off the antidepressants I'm on right now. I'm on Effexor Venlafaxine and I decided I no longer wanted to be medicated anymore. I've cried three times already this morning. So I'd highly recommend watching that video, but in today's video I'm going to sit down and tell you guys the withdrawal experience I had when I got totally off the medication. Before I get into everything, I just want to put a trigger warning up, just so you guys know, some of these things are kind of dark. I'm going to be talking about mental health and obviously the negative withdrawal symptoms, so please don't watch this video if that's going to negatively affect you. So like I mentioned in my last video, I was on half of my dose of Effexor Venlafaxine for a total of two and a half weeks. My doctor had told me to be on half of my dose for one week and then just totally go off them because I wasn't on very much, I wasn't on a high dose. But because the week I was supposed to be off them was my university finals week and I was already having a lot of trouble with motivation. You'll see in that video I had a final paper worth like 30-40% and I didn't get it done on time. Like I just couldn't get myself to do work. I made the decision to not stop the meds after one week but to finish out my finals week on half my dose and then once all that stuff was completed then to go off them. I got off the medication on December 23rd right before Christmas. These kind of start out like more chill, more like mm, that's not a bad side effect to it gradually gets worse, so just stay tuned. So first is just like dizziness. I'd just be like, ugh, and feel really like woozy. And the dizziness would also kind of lead to nausea. When I'd stand up, I would be like, oh my god, like I have to sit back down. And it wasn't because I was like getting up too fast, but it was just like, I would just feel really dizzy. Moving along, something that was very, very, very prevalent was that I was very emotional. If you watched my last video, this was also present when I was tapering off the meds, but as well when I got totally off of them. I was so, so emotional, and that's still kind of trickling on to now. It is currently January 17th, and I got totally off the meds on December 23rd. Most of these side effects have subsided and stopped, but a couple have kept on going. For example, I'm no longer feeling that dizziness, but I am still a little bit emotional, but not as much as right when I got off the meds. By being emotional, I mean if anybody would say something to me with like a stern tone or anything, I would just be so overly emotional that I would come upstairs and cry because I was just like, oh my god, like I can't take it. For example, movies or TV shows that I would normally just watch, I would cry to random stuff. I would constantly be crying. I think I cried at least once every day. That's what I mean by like, I was very, very emotional. I was also very, very agitated and on edge, ready to pounce and fight anybody. Um, whether that was a family member, like my father, or my boyfriend, or a friend, anything would annoy me. If you just said something a little bit off, I was like, ready to shit talk you. Usually, I'm a very non-confrontational person, ever. Like, if someone does something that I don't particularly appreciate or anything like that, I will not stick up for myself. I don't say anything. But when I was coming off these medications, I was... I don't know, I guess I was just so moody and grumpy. I was just ready to get into a fight at any time. And, oh, I did. I really did. My boyfriend and I were fighting. My sister was annoying me. And my sister never annoys me because she's the most, like, easygoing person ever. But she would say things that were just, like, normal. And I'd be like, I didn't appreciate that you said that. Editing Alex here. I forgot to add, I'm um, going along with the agitation. I literally moved out of my family house. If you saw my New Year's vlog, I explained that I literally moved in with Derek. First, we're gonna go to my mom's house where I was living. I recently moved out. There was some family tension and I escaped to Derek's house, which I'm so grateful I'm allowed to stay there. I'm already stubborn, but the increased like grr feeling really just pushed me over the edge. If you watched my first video about mental health, when I talk about my anxiety and my whole experience getting on antidepressants, the reason I wanted antidepressants was because I was just so overwhelmed constantly when I first got to university. Basically, I would have these freak out temper tantrums. That's the only way I can really describe it, where I would get so flustered and overwhelmed by the smallest things that I would literally like, ah! I would do that. I'd be like, ah! and scream and I'd have to like leave the room. Like I couldn't properly cope with my feelings, um, but ever since being on antidepressants and being on meds, SSRIs and all that, I haven't felt that feeling of being overwhelmed. 
But of course, things have changed. I started feeling that feeling again of just like being so flustered and so overwhelmed and not being able to like deal that I started having those like Ugh! things again. But they've escalated. Now, this is like, this is like hard to admit. Like I feel like I sound silly and obviously talking about mental health and my experience is difficult, but I've always been open and I'm going to try and continue. I would like have these, uh, but now I would hit my head quite hard. And this wasn't like when I was alone. It was also with people. Like I would just be like, oh, and not like this. Like I would like hit my head multiple times because I just like couldn't deal with whatever circumstances and whatever situation I was in. It was kind of like a whole coming around circle because I first went on my meds for feeling like this and then I was on meds. I never felt like that anymore. And now that I'm off meds, they're back. So I don't know what I expected. I guess I kind of just forgot those outbreaks that I had. But all of these things, I guess I just have to figure out and cope with. And maybe I'll take you guys on that journey because right now I'm not in therapy and I need to really figure out how I'm going to navigate being off medications, all this withdrawal, and everything I'm going through while in university full time. Like I've mentioned in previous videos about my mental health, I haven't really been super depressed. I never want to, I'm always very careful with what I say because I never want to be like, oh, I'm so depressed. I was, when I actually wasn't because I know people are actually struggling with these things. And I honestly, it's one of my pet peeves when people are like, oh, I'm so depressed today. Or, I hate my life. I want to die when people throw around stuff like that it really i don't like it because people are actually going through that stuff and i just people are just like throwing around words and i understand they don't mean it to harm people but that's just something i don't like to do so i'm letting you guys know i've never been like clinically depressed the only time i've been depressed was as a result of being on medications that didn't work well with me i talk about that when i go through my antidepressant experience and all the side effects from those meds but one of the meds i was on really didn't mesh well with me and i became severely depressed i self-harmed myself and i was severely suicidal and this was the first time in my entire life so that's why i say i've never been depressed because I feel like that depression was as a result of medication so that wasn't really me and I know people who are actually depressed and then they go on meds because they start out depressed but I got depressed as a result of chemicals not working in my brain worsening of depression and worsening of your anxiety is a possible side effect of coming off your medications and that was definitely something that I went through as a result, I would stay in bed and not be able to leave my bed, which is also what happened when I was on those medications and very depressed. But while coming off these meds, that was something I was experiencing. I would stay in bed in, in the dark sometimes. And again, talking about being emotional, I would stay in bed in the dark crying because I was just, I'll get into why I was feeling that way, but I just couldn't leave my bed. And I felt so empty and like there was no purpose to life and that the struggles I was going through were too much to handle. You can probably tell where this is going. I was really questioning my will to live and I was in a dark place. This was maybe a week and a half ago. I remember laying in bed one of the times I was just like laying there crying because I just felt really lonely and empty and typically I'm not one to be like what's my purpose what's my purpose in life because I'm kind of like let's just live every day to day like I don't feel like I need to have this grand plan set for me but while I was coming off these meds I was like there's no reason to live coming off the meds did have negatives and that's why I think it's very important that if you're coming off medications and you're trying to Talk to your doctor 100% don't just stop cold turkey. You will feel horrible. I am warning you. You will feel so crappy. Obviously it depends on the meds, but why would you do that when you could just like taper off? 
just taper off. I also highly recommend telling the people around you. I obviously told my family, I told my boyfriend, so they knew what I was going through. Now don't just be like, I'm coming off my meds. Don't just end the conversation there. They could be unaware of what that means. Tell them that you'll be feeling crappy side effects. Maybe show them a list from online of the possible side effects that you could be feeling so that when you're laying in bed all day and stuff like that, they're not thinking, wow, you're so lazy. You're just being such a t lazy teenager staying in bed all day and they can actually be proactive and check on you and make sure you're okay make sure you're going outside for fresh air and eating and all those important things so that's a wrap up of all the withdrawal symptoms that I can recall feeling I'm gonna get into how I'm currently feeling now because although it was crappy a little while ago things have gone uphill from there I'm so happy to report that I'm feeling so much better than I was I'm feeling the best that I have in a long long time even better than when I was on the medications like, I'm going on walks every day, hour-long walks outside, and even when I was on venlafaxine, I couldn't leave the house. I didn't leave the house every day. I even talk about in one of my mental health videos and like tips to go outside and get fresh air because I think it's very beneficial, but I admitted that I don't go outside every day. I haven't gotten to the point where I go for walks every day. You know, a lot of the times I don't leave the house and I don't step foot outside. So if you can at least try then maybe you will some days, and that'll be better than not trying at all and never leaving the house. But now I'm going outside every day, and even if I don't have things to do, I am happy, and I get out of bed, and I truly feel really good. Obviously not perfect, but I feel like I, I'm so happy. Like, seeing where I was and how I'm feeling now, it's truly incredible. Let me let me pull up my little list of things like you guys know on the medications I was on it caused insomnia and that also caused me to be on sleeping medications and the sleeping medications had their own set of side effects which all medications do it's so lovely but now I can sleep which feels incredible and I wake up in the morning I'm not groggy I I don't even wake up in the middle of the night like I just sleep the whole night it's truly incredible when I was first getting off the antidepressants I explained to you guys that I wasn't gonna be getting off my sleeping pills as well which are antidepressants because I didn't want to come off everything at once she asked if I still wanted to be on my sleeping medications and I said yes because I don't want to drop everything at once like we'll deal with that later but it just worked out by itself that when I was coming off venlafaxine, which caused me insomnia, that I could just like now sleep. So now I don't need to be taking the sleeping meds anymore. Apologies if the lighting or my positioning in the frame has changed. But like I was saying, I don't have to worry about taking my sleeping medications. They caused me really weird tingling in my legs and my muscles would like... I don't know if it's like spazzing up and I'd have to like kick them because it would just be so uncomfortable. So I'd be like laying there trying to sleep, but my legs would just be like going crazy. When I was coming off the medications, I would also feel tremendous anxiety when I was laying in bed trying to go to bed, whether that was, you know, at 10 p.m. when I was trying to go to bed or when I woke up in the middle of the night. It was so hard for me to fall back asleep. So I'm finally off all antidepressants. I'm off Effexor, Venlafaxine, and my sleeping pill. I genuinely, when I was coming off of them, like I said in the video, when I was tapering, I was so excited but I was also so scared because it was kind of the unknown. I didn't know how I was going to be feeling and what possible side effects I'd experience. But now that I've come off of them, I am so happy I have. I'm truly so happy with the decision I made. Looking back, with most things in my life, I don't regret anything. They're like, what would you change? And a lot of the time it's like, I wouldn't change anything because it shaped me to the person I am now. Which I do believe. I do believe. But being on antidepressants when I went on them two or three years ago, the experiences from all the pills I've been on have been more negative than they have been positive. Truly. Like I've gone through more crappy stuff than positives. I went and went on antidepressants for feeling a little bit overwhelmed and having a bit of anxiety at university. Three years later, a whirlwind of events later, here I am finally off of them and I truly just wish I didn't go on them in the first place. That's just my opinion. I, I don't know how I overall feel if I fully regret it or obviously like I went through experiences and I could help people and talk to people about mental health which I'm so glad that I'm able to do and hopefully this is spreading awareness and 
you are benefiting from getting my opinion, but I highly recommend exercising all the other areas that you can before going on to medication. What I mean by that is try to solve your problem first because going on medication isn't going to solve all the issues because one day you might have to come off of them and then what? Are your problems solved then? So go to therapy, do all that. Use medication as a last resort. If you don't know what else to do, you're feeling so crappy, so low. I'm not saying that medications or being on meds are bad in any way or anything like that. I'm just saying in my experience, because when I went on meds, I wasn't in therapy. I wasn't trying to fix my issues. I wasn't, I wasn't doing any of that. And I just kind of expected everything to be perfect and go away because I was on medications. And that's not what happens long term. Short term, you might feel great, but in the end, you're going to have to face your problems. So I'd highly recommend trying to do that before going on medications that will kind of mess with the wiring in your brain, which the thought of that scares me. Comment down below any other mental health related videos you'd like to see from me. I'm thinking about doing a video about how you can support someone who has mental health. So for example, you're watching this and you have a partner or a sibling who is going through depression or anxiety. I wanna make a video about how you can properly support them because I know that can be so hard. And even as the person with a mental health issue, it can be hard to know what you need for support. So I'm thinking of making that video. Let me know what else you guys would like to see from me. I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.